help you work safely and efficiently. Number one, before starting out, know your truck. Check it out. And number two, while you're operating, always maintain alertness and anticipate danger. Crown's TR and TWR 3000 series tow tractors have been designed primarily to tow loaded and empty carts for the efficient movement of materials. Towing loads up to 10,000 pounds, these versatile trucks are ideal for use in warehouses, shipping and manufacturing. The TR model is designed primarily to be a rider tow tractor. It has a fixed position T-handle. The TWR model has been designed as both a rider and a walk-along, or walkie tow tractor. It's equipped with a walkie rider control handle. As a rider, both the TR and TWR models are operated from a center of the truck operator's platform. As a walkie, the flexible design of the TWR allows it to be operated from either side of the truck or from the front when the walk ride handle is pivoted forward. Although primarily a rider truck, the TR can also be used while walking alongside the truck. As with any truck, always check the capacity plate during your pre-shift inspection for specific truck information. Before we operate the truck, let's take a brief look at its overall design and features. You should check all of these during your daily pre-operational checks. Remember, know your truck and check it out before each operation. We'll look at the detailed use of the truck's controls as we operate the truck later on in this program. A backrest with a padded cushion is provided for operator comfort. Some trucks may have optional storage bins installed on the backrest. The operator platform is large and is designed for quick entry and exit from either side of the truck. A high-speed pedal is conveniently located on the floor. The battery compartment on each truck is located between the operator's platform and the power unit. The battery can be changed from either side of the truck. Some trucks may be equipped with a removable storage compartment mounted on the battery cover. Tow tractors are equipped with either a fixed position T-handle or a walk-ride handle. Both handles have a horn button and utilize dual twist grips to control both the speed and direction of truck travel. Some models have a high-speed, low-speed switch. High speed allows for faster travel speeds on smooth, flat floors. Low speed is used when maximum pulling capacity is needed, like on ramps or over rough floors. The fixed position T-handle has brake levers on each twist grip and a parking brake located at the top of the steering column. The position of the movable walk-ride control handle controls the truck's brake. The brake is applied when the handle moves to near the horizontal or vertical position. The walk-ride handle contains a horn button and a large red reversing button. If this button is contacted while operating in the forward or power unit first direction, the truck will reverse its direction of travel. This feature is important when operating with the handle in the walkie position. The host selector at the base of the walk-ride handle allows the handle to remain in the brake-off or travel position when released. This feature is a productive benefit for order-picking applications. A key or on-off switch is located on the power unit. Some trucks may be equipped with a battery discharge indicator or an hour meter. These accessories would also be located on the power unit. A power disconnect should be used when changing or charging the battery in an electrical emergency or, if it's your company's policy, when leaving the truck unattended. If your truck is not equipped with a disconnect handle, pull the battery connector plug to disconnect the battery. The truck's capacity plate is also located on the power unit. The capacity plate contains important information regarding the ability of your truck to handle loads. Let's look closely for a minute at the information on the capacity plate. At the top of the plate is the serial number of the truck. This number is used on all service and warranty communications and your daily checklist. The approximate truck weight as equipped without battery section provides the maximum weight of the truck without a battery. Remember to add the weight of the battery and load when operating in limited weight areas. 
The rated coupler height section lists the coupler height on the truck that was used to determine the truck's towing capacity. The normal drawbar pull is a rating in pounds of force that represents the maximum towing force that a truck can generate and sustain during a shift of operation. This rating is specified at the given coupler height. The truck type section lists the rating of the truck for working near fire hazards or combustion sensitive environments. The maximum grade section shows the largest grade that is recommended for safe operation. Know your facility and use the proper equipment for the application. Now, let's look closely at the operation of a crown tow tractor. Remember, as you begin to operate the truck, always maintain alertness and anticipate danger. Before the truck can operate, the key or on-off switch must be turned on. Both control handles are designed to be operated with either hand. Direction and speed are controlled by rotating the top of the twist grip in the direction you wish to travel. Twisting the handle energizes the electric motor and draws power from the battery to move the truck. Twisting the handle in the opposite direction reverses the polarity of the drive motor and moves the truck in the opposite direction. The further the grip is twisted, the more power is drawn from the battery and the faster the truck will travel. High-speed travel is only possible when the foot switch is pressed. The grip will return to the neutral position when released. Crown's tow tractors are designed as high-speed cart movers, but for short travel distances or when order picking, you may want to walk with your truck. To use the truck as a walkie when traveling in the power unit first direction, you should be off to the side and clear of the truck's power unit. One hand is used to operate the truck when traveling in this direction. Remember that a tow tractor's primary purpose is to tow carts. Take into account the swing of the carts being towed when making turns. Also, when using the truck as a walkie, be careful to keep your feet clear of the truck. In addition to being used to steer the truck, the control handle on the TWR model with the walk-ride handle also activates the truck's brake. When using the truck as a walkie, pull the handle down to a comfortable operating level. The brake can be applied by lowering the handle to the horizontal position or by raising the handle to the vertical position. When operating the truck from the rider platform, the brake is off when the handle is in the lowest position raise the handle to apply the brake. If the coast selector is in the coast off position, the handle will automatically raise to the brake position when released. On the TR model with the T handle, the brake is applied by squeezing the brake lever on either side of the handle. When the brake is applied, power is cut off to the drive motor. Remember, a tow tractor can weigh almost 2,000 pounds and can pull carts with loads weighing up to 10,000 pounds. Use the horn to let others know where you are and to warn others at intersections and crosswalks. Always wait until the truck comes to a complete stop before stepping off the operator's platform. In addition to efficiently moving carts from point to point, Crown's tow tractors are also designed for high efficiency order picking. When order picking, the large operator platform makes it easy to get on and off the truck or to pass through the truck for picking stock on both sides of an aisle. To help speed your order picking job, Crown's tow tractors have a coast feature. When using this feature on the TWR model with the walk-ride handle, the brake is not automatically applied when you release the control handle. The truck will coast to a stop. Once accustomed to the coast of a truck, you can let go of the control handle while the truck is still moving and pick up the needed item. When the truck stops, it will be in the position for you to set the item on the cart. To brake with the brake coast selector in this position, you must move the handle to the brake position. The TR model with the fixed T handle will coast unless the hand brake is applied. Turn your truck off when not being used. On TR models with the T handle, pull up on the lever on the top of the steering column to apply the parking brake. 
On TWR models with the walk-ride handle, the coast selector should normally be in the coast-off position, which allows the handle to return to a more vertical position to apply the brake. In addition to the safe and efficient maneuvering of a truck, an operator must also be skilled in towing loads. This important function begins with hitching a cart to the truck. The hitch on your truck is designed to work with the carts in your facility. There are four different standard hitches available. The automatic, the pin and clevis, the pintle, and the eye. To use an automatic hitch, back the truck into the ring on the end of the cart's tongue. The spring-loaded locking device will snap in place to hold the ring. Pull down on the lever on the side of the hitch to release the cart. To use a pin and clevis hitch, lift the ring on the hitch and back the truck to insert the tongue ring into the hitch. Lift the ring on the pin to release the cart. To use a pintle hitch with carts, remove the hitch's locking pin. Lift the locking lever and raise the top of the hitch. Insert the trailer's tongue ring into the lower jaw of the hitch and lock the top in place. To use an eye type of hitch, the hook of a cart simply drops into the eye for towing. With any type of hitch system, always start and stop the truck gently to avoid shifting the load. Be very careful during turns to know how the carts will round the corner. When moving a load, make sure the load is stable. If you must travel on ramps, remember to always travel in the center of the ramp. Go slowly and do not turn until you are off the ramp. After about eight hours of operation, the battery in your truck will need to be changed or charged. If your truck does not have a battery discharge indicator, you will know when your truck needs to have its battery charged or changed when the truck begins to travel and pull noticeably slower. If your truck is equipped with a battery discharge indicator, it will show the status of the battery. To charge the battery, park the truck where the charger cable can safely reach the battery. Turn the truck off and apply the brake. Disconnect the battery from the truck and open the battery cover. Make sure the battery and the charger are matched. Follow the instructions on the battery charger and observe the procedures and cautions outlined in the charging and fueling section of It's Up To You. To change a battery, park the truck on a level surface in the battery changing area. Turn the truck off and apply the brake. Disconnect the battery from the truck and lay the connector inside the battery cover. Depending on your battery changing equipment and procedures, remove the retainer plate, position a battery stand at the correct height next to the truck and roll the battery out or use an approved hoist and spreader bar to lift the discharged battery and replace it with a charged battery. Never let metal objects come in contact with the electrical connections on the top of the battery. Install a charged battery and replace the battery retainer plate if removed. Make sure to install the correct voltage, size and weight battery to maintain proper operation. Reconnect the battery. Crown's TR and TWR 3000 series tow tractors have logged millions of hours of safe operation, but how you operate a truck can make the difference between life and death. Remember, always maintain alertness and anticipate danger. Refer to the operator's manual to review this important information. Read and obey all warnings on your truck. Keep your truck under control at all times. Slow down on wet or slippery floors and in congested areas. Don't run over objects on the floor and always look out for the other guy. When riding, keep your hands, feet and body within the running lines of the truck at all times. Never drive the truck under objects that could reach into the operator's area. When using a tow tractor as a walkie, be careful to keep your feet clear of the truck. When working on uneven floors, inclines, or around docks, be very careful to avoid tip-overs and falls. Serious injury or even death can result from this type of accident. In this program, 
We've reviewed the components and safe operating procedures of Crown's TR and TWR 3000 series tow tractors. You are not considered trained until you have practiced operating the type of truck that you will use and have demonstrated your ability to perform the duties of your position. Be safe. Remember, safe operation is up to you.